Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. That'll let you know when I drop another video. If you are here for beats, I have a link below. It's called Beats You Need. But today I'm actually gonna get into some streaming stuff. So I'm gonna show you how I actually have my OBS set up so I can actually stream. I'm gonna show you two different ways. Let's get into it. All right, so my big face is in the way and that is perfectly fine. So uh, the two ways that I actually know of, are uh, one of them is gonna be using uh, FL Studio, using the ASO driver from FL Studio and the other is gonna be from Reaper. So I'll show you the FL one really quickly. I think that's the easiest one to show. All right, so let me move my big face out the way. I'm gonna kind of go through the FL setup. All right, so here we are. This is the FL Studio page. Basically, you just do try for free and you're gonna download it. Um, I'm, not, I'm only talking about the Windows setup because I use Cakewalk. As my main DAW right now. Uh, you may use other DAWs and actually be using a Mac. Uh, and if you actually you are using a Mac, then there's another setup for that, which I'm not sure of because I don't own a Mac. <laughs> but yes, so we're gonna you would download the Windows one and basically it's gonna give an option for a, a ASO driver. The uh, FL one is very, very good and it plays through all the DAWs that I have on my computer. So uh, I'm gonna pull up Cakewalk really quickly. And this is Cakewalk. Let's go and do a brand new empty project, All right? Uh, so if I go down here to my console view, right? And I'm just gonna pull this up some so you can kind of see it. All right, and if you pull over on this section here, you'll actually be able to see the FL Studio ASO driver. And you'll also see it on the master right here on the master. It'll tell me that I'm going out through the FL Studio ASO out one, right? So once you download FL Studio and you download the ASO, you go to your preferences and just make sure it's set up as the ASO driver out for your DAW, whatever that DAW may be. And uh, just to kind of let you hear some sounds. All right, and this here is my song that I released. It's called Footsteps. So you'll be able to hear it out through um, OBS. And let me just kind of show you OBS real quickly. All right, so here is my OBS. Um, and as you see, I am recording. <laughs> All right, um, it's gonna come out through this desktop audio. So I'm gonna minimize this for right now. I'm just gonna click on the cakewalk so just so I can play the song. Yeah. And here we are in OBS. X dot E dot L dot and As you oh. see, it's actually coming out of this channel. And that's the regular desktop audio that is playing through. Can you see my footsteps? See my footsteps? Can you see my footsteps? Yes, and if you do want to actually hear that song further, I do have a link below to my hyperlink so you can listen to it on your favorite streaming platform. All right. So. Uh, let's say you didn't have this ASO driver for FL. I'm just going to go into OBS and I'm going to mute it. So I'm going to mute this uh, one here for the ASO for uh, the desktop audio. And I'm going to minimize this. All right. So the other option, the other option would be Reaper. And Reaper has... Uh, Reaper plugin VSTs that'll work on any DAW and it'll allow you to actually put a output from your DAW and send it into OBS. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And this is what we want, this restream. And this is what it actually looks like. So it gives you an option to enable it, uh, to receive and send MIDI and audio. And uh, even if you, if you wanted to keep it on your local like uh, Wi-Fi, you can actually do that as well. So if you had two computers and you wanted to stream from one to the other, if you have the address and it also has the identifier matching the same, you'll be able to actually stream that audio to another computer as well. 
really, really great plugin uh, that Reaper actually has here. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, and this is my other one that I like, the FIR. This is basically like a noise cancellation kind of uh, plugin. Uh, they have all these plugins are actually free. So basically you just choose if you're using 32-bit or if you're going to do 64-bit, uh, you would download it. It doesn't take any kind of, uh, you know, PC power or anything like that. Very, very good plugin. Just make sure when you download it, you send it to your regular VST2 programs so that OBS will be able to find it. And yes, OBS can open VST2 plugins in it as well. And I will actually show you that in a minute. All right, so here we are back in to uh, Cakewalk. So I'm actually going to play this, but you won't be able to hear it because it's not going to come out through the OBS. And as you see in OBS, it's actually muted, so you won't be able to hear it. It's actually playing in the background as you see it moving down the line. But, you know. All right. So what we want to do is actually set up the restream so we'll be able to actually play through Cakewalk and be able to play the sounds out of your DAW into OBS. So once you actually downloaded it, you go to your effects inside of Cakewalk and you want to go to your audio effects, go to Kukos, which is uh, the, the people who create Reaper. And you go down to where it says restream, replugins, Edition. So we click on that and it brings up this little dialog box right here. So this is what we want to see. So basically it gives you an identifier so you can name, name it whatever you want to. So seeing that we're in Cakewalk, let's just name this one Cakewalk. Right. And I want to send out. I don't want to receive. I'm not receiving audio. I want to send it out. So I'm going to go to this little drop down here. And seeing that I know that OBS is on a computer, it would be considered a local broadcast. When you're doing a regular broadcast, that means you're actually sending it out through like your Wi-Fi or something like that in order to actually get your uh, sounds to that other device. But we're going to do local. And now we have this set up inside of Cakewalk. So once you're actually putting stuff on your master, you want to make sure this is the last thing on there if you're actually streaming. Make sure this is the last plugin on your master plugin uh, selection so that you'll be able to hear it or your audience will be able to hear it in OBS. So with that being said, let's actually set up the OBS. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna add, hit this little plus sign here to add another uh, device. And we're gonna do an audio input capture. So what that's gonna do is capture any audio that's from the outside, it's going to come into OBS. So I'm going to click on that. And let's rename this. Let's name it, um, let's, let's name it Cakewalk, right? Just so we can kind of keep everything uh, in that same setup. All right, so now we have Cakewalk. So now we need to se select a device. So the trick to this is to find a device that you're not actually using. So if you have multiple devices, like if you if you know you're not using your mic, you can use the mic. Uh, you can use um, the inline. You can use any of these in here. Um, I'm actually going to use this uh, voice meter because I know I'm not using it for anything. It is just the audio driver that I downloaded. It's called voice meter. You can download that as well. If you want to look it up and download it, you can do that. But I'm going to choose it for this instance right now. So I'm going to hit OK down here. And now I have this Cakewalk channel right here. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna go to filters. So what filters does is allow you to choose a VST3 or VST2 uh, access. So I'm gonna go down here to it says VST2 plugin. I'm just gonna hit okay on there and it's gonna create that plugin over here, right? So this is your drop down. So you can actually choose different things. I can even add, <laughs> Uh, so a fin micro looks like a couple other things that are in here. Anything that's a VST2, you can actually put in here and re, uh, an OBS should be able to find it. But we're going to go down to this Restream standalone. I'm going to click on that. 
and I want to um, open the plugin interface so I can see it. So I'm going to click on that. And this is what it looks like. So it's the same thing as the one that's inside of Cakewalk, but uh, we're not going to change anything on her except for the identifier. So we want to change this identifier and we're going to name it Cakewalk, like we did inside of Cakewalk, right? So now we have this set up. So I'm going to leave this one kind of floating and I'm going to hit to uh, close this. So now, as you see right here, this first option, now we have Cakewalk. And we want to go down here to this little cog wheel, right? And we want to go to advanced audio properties if you're using this inside of your um, OBS. So now we have this Cakewalk one, and it looks like it's trying to go out through all of the channels. So we can change that. So um, let's take it off of two. And three is my mic. And let's actually turn it down because it'll be really loud <laughs> when it comes out. You don't turn it down. So I'm just going to turn this down. Um, do 60 dBs. All right. And that's usually why like my uh, streams are not completely blaring and deafening people is because I actually turn it down inside of uh, the OBS. All right, so now that we have um, that set up, now it should actually come out through the uh, audio on here, so we should be able to hear it. Yeah. And as you see, X dot it's actually showing inside of Reaper, you should be able to actually hear it as well. See my footsteps, see my footsteps, can you see my footsteps? 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 See my footsteps, can you see my All right. So now that we know that it actually works, uh, the restream works inside of Cakewalk. Um, it works in any DAW. As long as it can do VST2, you should be able to actually use it. So um, I'm actually gonna close out of Cakewalk. And let's try an uh, FL. All right, so here we are in FL Studio, and this is the master channel right here on this first one. And what you would want to do is go down here to where it has the, um, the limiter and change this. So we want to go uh, and find the Restream standalone. If you're not sure how to get to your other plugins inside of uh, FL Studio, basically you just go to More Plugins, and you should be able to find uh, your plugins inside the list. Or you just go down to manage plugins and rescan your plugins. And you should be able to find this restream. It should be in your regular VST2 uh, uh, folder so that it will be able to find it a lot easier. So now that we have this set up in here to go out, we can actually do this. This name is the Cakewalk just to make it a little easier. So I'm going to name it to Cakewalk. I'm going to do a send, and I'm also going to do a local broadcast, right? All right, so now that we have that actually set up, let's uh, get some music in here. All right, so I'm going to do this restream, and I'm going to make sure that it's actually coming through on here as well. And this is set up as Cakewalk, just like that. So let's see if it's going to play put this on song mode so we'll be able to hear the song yeah x dot e and as it's actually coming out of fl as well can you see all right and as you see it is actually coming out of fl as well so you don't need to um do anything else other than actually set up this restream inside the DAW and you'll be able to actually hear it. And it also will work for any, like I said, any DAW that actually has the capability of doing VST2s and has a master out that you can put things on, you should be able to actually use it on. 
So pretty much that's it, ladies and gents. And man, I really do appreciate you guys for stopping by, watching this video. If you got anything out of this or you have any questions, definitely leave them below in the comment section. Love to hear back from you guys. You know I got I get back to you guys on any of the comments that you leave inside of my videos. But with that being said, I think that's about it. So definitely go and download FL Studio and get the ASO driver. I think that's the easiest way to do it. Um, if you still want to actually broadcast to other computers, I would say go for the Restream because it is, gives a little bit more options to, to set up. It's a little harder to set up, uh, but it still works very, very effectively uh, on any DAW. So uh, with that being said, it's your boy. X dot E dot L dot O. Till next time, people. Peace.